a patient with mandibular class 1 edentulous arch which type of occlusion would be given for an rpd opposing a cd okay so there are a few concepts that we need to revise here before answering this question kennedy's class 1 arch is mandibular here we are talking about mandibular so posterior teeth are missing bilaterally now how many teeth we don't know okay so we have a bilaterally edentulous arch that means anterior teeth are present and posterior it's edentulous bilaterally opposing a complete denture so maxillary arch is complete denture now what are the different schemes and how do you understand where to give what so the options are talking about unilateral canine guided bilateral canine guided mutually protected and bilateral balance so let me just briefly discuss as to what this means first talking of mutually protected now mutually protected is not an occlusal scheme but it is a feature that can be incorporated in occlusion that means in maximum intercuspation, anterior teeth will not touch, posterior teeth will touch. In protrusion, anterior teeth will touch and posterior teeth will not touch. Now if you uh, want to correlate this in your own mouth, at maximum intercuspation that means when you close your teeth completely your posterior teeth are touching and at, and your anterior teeth are not touching and in protrusion your anterior teeth are touching and your posterior teeth are not touching and there is a gap in between them this is known as christiansen's phenomenon so this is a point where all the load is diverted or distributed evenly amongst all teeth okay so uh, in chewing the posterior uh, teeth will take up the load in excursion the anterior teeth will take up the load so anterior teeth are protecting the posterior teeth in protrusion and posterior teeth are protecting the anterior teeth in maximum intercuspation that's how they are mutually protecting each other and this is known as mutually protected occlusion which is not an occlusal scheme it is a feature that can be incorporated in the occlusion so here there is no posterior tooth contact right in in protrusion the posterior teeth are not touching so if you incorporate this kind of a feature in something that is removable then the chances of the denture to lift or tip away will be higher on the most posterior natural tooth that means suppose if in the given case only canine to canine are present suppose canine and canine is present premolar and molar are missing so if you keep contact only canine to canine in protrusion then the denture will tip across this against this uh, line okay against this fulcrum line so Mutually protected occlusion should not be given in cases where a removable partial denture is opposing a complete denture. If there is something which is completely edentulous, for example, if it is a maxillary complete denture opposing a natural dentition, then you have to give your teeth in maximum intercuspation depending on natural teeth. But if you are restoring upper and lower posterior teeth both on both sides, then you will go for balanced occlusion. Now, balanced occlusion means what? balanced occlusion means in maximum intercuspation all teeth are touching the anterior teeth will have very light contact with their overbite and overjet but the posterior teeth will be in occlusion and in excursion also all teeth on right and left are touching left and right in protrusion lateral movement in all possible movements there will be some contact of teeth on both sides so because there is contact of teeth on both sides the denture is going to remain stable in its position and not keep dislodging so because of this all the forces are diverted equally on all teeth as well as the stability of the denture is maintained now suppose if it was a kennedy's class 2 situation that means if teeth were present over here then here you will arrange according to maximum intercuspation of the opposing arch now here in the given case it's a complete denture so you still have to do upper teeth arrangement according to the natural teeth here but this side you will still want to have maximum contact in the posterior teeth so if you have contact only on canine then it becomes canine guided occlusion okay in lateral now if you take your jaw on the right side say for example 
you will realize that your canines are touching, your premolar, molar, etc. may be touching or may not be touching. So, if only canine is touching, it is canine guided occlusion. But if more than canine are touching, if the premolars and molars are also touching, that is a group of posterior teeth are touching, then it becomes a group function occlusion. Okay, so unilateral balanced occlusion is also known as group function. is equal to group function occlusion which is not there in the option but I am still telling you so that you remember. Group function means more than canine, canine, premolar, molar, more teeth are touching in excursion. In excursion means in side to side movement or protrusion. Okay. If only canine is touching then it becomes canine guided. Now if you look into your own dentition then you could have canine guided on right side and you could have group function on left side you could have you could have canine guided on both side you could have group function on both side depending on your uh, positioning of teeth so that is normal now we are, when you are restoring bilaterally edentulous areas posterior areas then you are re-establishing the occlusion in the given question you have a complete denture opposing a mandibular rpd so here you are going to achieve balanced occlusion so that your posterior teeth remain stable at all times and they are not disrupted or uh, the stability of the denture is not lost. So, unilateral canine guided would mean that only on one side there will be canine contact and other teeth will be in no contact posteriorly. So, if you do that, the denture will tip on the canine. So, not a good option. Similarly, bilateral canine guided, the denture will tip along the axis joining the canine. Again, not a good option. Mutually protected, no, because in anterior teeth contact, the posterior teeth will be in disocclusion. Again, not recommended. And bilateral balanced, that is the most recommended because your posterior teeth are in contact in excursion as well. So, the stability of both the upper and the lower denture will be maintained. So, the correct answer is bilateral balanced occlusion.